Hi, I'm Nolan Hames, and I wanted to give you a quick rundown on the brand new Office themes. There's a new Office font theme and a new color theme launching right now. If you don't see it immediately in your defaults when you open up uh, Office programs, just give it a week or two. Depending on the channel that you're on, they roll it out slowly. Um, I'm going to be showing it to you on the Mac Insider channel. So let's take a look at what is new and what we're getting rid of. This is the old color palette, right? And the old font theme, right? So we had Calibri for I don't know how many years. Everyone was tired of it. We had Calibri Light for headings and Calibri body, and you could see it was an okay font, but there wasn't much variation in it. And then over on the, the color side here, we have this sort of uh, now pretty tired, basic blues and oranges and things, and, and everybody's templates that use the default looked, looked very similar, all the charting looked very similar. Uh, if we take a look at uh, sort of a standard uh, slide, you'll see how this sort of felt in action, color and font. And if we look at a chart, uh, that's another important thing to know about the color palette. It really affects how colors get filled into charts uh, when you're not using a custom theme or a custom template, whether you're in Excel or in PowerPoint. So it fills it in left to right according to series, as you can see here. So a lot of charts uh, tended to look like this with this sort of color scheme. But say hello to the brand new Office theme. First, fonts. Calibri is no longer. Right? A couple years ago, Power, uh, Microsoft said that they were going to replace uh, Calibri and they were looking for a replacement and they put out, I believe, five different fonts for people to give feedback on. The winner was a font called Beerstat, which they recently changed to Aptos, right? Same font. They just changed the name of it. They didn't want the name Beer in it. So we now have Aptos Display for headings and Aptos Body. If you're on a Mac like I am, you might see Display and, and Aptos as two distinctly different fonts, um, uh, the way uh, the, the, the UI sort of uh, categorizes it and organizes it, uh, but it, it's all the same. Um, under Aptos here, you'll find all the Display versions as well. On the PC, it, they show it a slightly bit differently, but you've got all these. Even if you don't have the new Office theme as a default, you still have these fonts and you've had them for a while, so you can make use of them no problem. Uh, over on the color side, you'll notice that we've the, the palette's gotten a bit richer, uh, more jewel tony. You still sort of have your, your light one, dark twos, but then we get into uh, sort of your rainbow here, your accents one through six that are, are pretty bold uh, and, and darker in a sense, and your hyperlinks are, are a little bit muted, this sort of uh, these muted blues and, and purples there. Where did these colors come from? I don't know, Microsoft spent a lot of time uh, trying to decide on this. Uh, some people think they came from the apps, the, the blue, the green, the, the orange of, of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. I don't know. Choosing a palette is not the easiest thing in the world, especially a, a general one for, for use. So there's some good things, some bad things about it. If we look to uh, a standard chart, this is how a lot of charts are going to start to look uh, when people are not using uh, custom uh, themes or, or custom uh, color palettes. But again, this is the default. If you just do File New, this is what you're going to get. Uh, this is the way uh, sort of a, a standard uh, slide looks like. And uh, let me, let, let's sort of compare the old and the new. Uh, this was the old using Calibri, right? And you'll see that Calibri, you might notice, is a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter for the same font size. If we go to the new uh, Aptos, you'll see that uh, this, this text box here actually wrapped to four lines rather than three. So it's a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. If you are changing over themes to an existing deck, you're going to have to do a little just checking to make sure everything uh, still fits in, in the right way that you want it to. The last thing I want to just talk about is accessibility. Uh, Microsoft definitely paid attention to accessibility with uh, the color palette. And if we take a tool and ex sort of examine uh, the color palette, this is the color contrast report uh, from the Bright Slide add-in for PowerPoint. It's available for the Mac and the PC. It's completely free. It's the add-in you want. You can get it at brightcarbon.com slash brightslide. So this is a tool that's just part of the, the suite of, of the add-ins. And you'll notice with the old color palette, there were a lot of fails, meaning uh, your combinations of colors, everything that's ghosted here on the left here, these are all fails, so they don't pass uh, accessibility guidelines. Uh, if we go to the new color palette, though, you'll see that a lot more of those boxes get filled in. Not everyone. It's not not perfect. It can't be. You can't have passes on every uh, combination. So, but you will have a lot more. Uh, 
passes, let's say, a lot, uh, hopefully fewer uh, accessibility fails when you run the checker. And if you go to the checker, this is uh, something slightly new under the review tab here. If you go to check accessibility, one of the new tools is inspect without color. So if we click that, actually, it's going to turn everything temporarily uh, grayscale, which is a great way to check for uh, colorblind safety and, and accessibility. And if we go to the old uh, palette uh, here, for example, you can see that uh, a lot of the, the values when they turn gray are kind of similar, sort of similar values of gray. The new palette is a little bit more contrasty and a little bit darker, which will help with, with overall contrast and again, uh, colorblind safety when it comes to uh, designing accessible charts. So that's just one thing to point out. There definitely was some thought put behind this color palette. So that is the new 2023 Microsoft Office font and color themes. Let me know what you think of Aptos. Let me know what you think of the color palette and if you think it's an improvement on what we've uh, had in the past.